earnings call just getting underway for instant reaction to those results. Let's bring in Matt Bryson of Wedbush. Matt, um, you know, the company and, and the street has been sort of chasing uh, the results lower here. I mean, uh, estimates cut, guidance cut still further down uh, beyond what we were expecting in today's report. Uh, do you think it's settling out at, at something close to a low in terms of the actual business uh, performance and conditions yet? So memory is still tough. Um, yeah. I, I think that Q1 uh, may, may mark a bottom. Uh, there, there's some sentiment that uh, if uh, the Chinese New Year is disappointing in terms of holiday sales, uh, that, that you'll see some some product, uh, some excess product again available, and that may be when pricing uh, actually bottoms. Uh, but we're still looking for signs of a turnaround. And um, the the guidance that they gave. Today, the the cost cutting measures does it does it change the story at all? Has the stock de risked? I guess in uh, in, in street parlance enough uh, for it to be a little safer. Yeah, so I I, I think that expectations were already low, right? I, I, every they they told us that pricing was worse than they anticipated, um, and it, my checks show that the pricing is is continues to move, move lower. I, I I think that was reflected in expectations. Um, with Micron, historically, the, the bottom's been about uh, book value. Book value is in the mid 40s at this point. Certainly, you can make the argument that Micron's a much better company than it was four, five, six years ago. They're uh, the cost leaders in DRAM. Uh, they've got a great NAND product, which historically wasn't the case. They have a better balance sheet. So I, 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 I think that the stock is close to a bottom. It, it's more of a question of when's the upside going to, to occur? When are we going to see a, a shift to this memory cycle? And is there any uh, relevant read through from what Micron has told us to other players uh, in memory or, or more broadly in the semis? So I, I think the read through is is effectively that, that things are getting better yet. Um, certainly memory has its own issues and that there are these, these large inventories of customers um, and in, in that those inventories, particularly uh, in the data center space, that they need to get worked out. It makes it hard to tell what, what end demand is. But, but I think generally for semis, um, you've got two factors in play. One, these inventory work downs. Two, uh, the lack of demand or, or demand recovery, in some cases, demand getting worse. Um, I, I think those factors that are weighing on Micron, that they're, they're also weighing on the, on the Friday semiconductor um, uh, complex and what Micron tells you is that it, at least right now memory is not seeing a reversal um, and I, I think in general mm -hmm. semis are, are in the same boat. And so where would you uh, prefer to, to look if you wanted to say look maybe there's a way either to get shelter from this weak part of the cycle or to anticipate when it turns better how is your what are your preferred ways of, of doing that within the group? Yeah so uh, Mike I actually think Micron's a, a, a good place to be in that mm -hmm. um, it's one of the names you can point to where, where you do have this this valuation bottom that's not related to the, the cycle, right? Again, uh, book values in the mid 40s, uh, historically that's where it's bottomed. Um, so you just don't have a lot of downside. Uh, the other names uh, that, that I tend to focus on are uh, names that I think are, are gaining share. Uh, so a AMD, I, I think certainly they are going to take share throughout 2023, 2024. Um, in the server CPU space. So e even if you have a difficult end market, uh, they can outperform if, if they can take an incremental share. Uh, and the same thing with Taiwan Semi. So in, in part, um, it's the share losses uh, by Intel. So Intel losing share mm -hmm. to AMD, that accrues to Taiwan Semi via AMD, uh, but also or same thing with Apple. Apple can use shift to their own processors. Uh, again, uh, that share accrues to, to Taiwan Semi, but then also you've got uh, Qualcomm, NVIDIA shifting uh, some of their pro production uh, over to TSM. And so, mm -hmm. uh, again, I, I think they're in a good position because they're, they're, they're taking some share of that, and that offsets some of the broader market weakness. Matt, appreciate the time today. Thanks very much. Matt Price. Thanks for having me, Mike.